All right, number seven. That's a big deal. Yes, sir. How's it feel the first time you, you pull that thing on? Man, it's crazy. You know, I got to understand the tradition that it is. It really speaks for itself. You know, number seven is just it's a strong tradition at LSU. The guys that's worn it before me, you know, I'm extremely blessed and honored to, you know, be able to be in that position to wear it and for the coaches to think of me that high to, uh, you know, choose me as that. So, yeah, I'm definitely blessed and ready. There will be a lot of people watching this who don't know that tradition. Yeah. The number seven, for those who don't know, is just the traditionally leader of the defense, leader of the team, the guy that everybody just listens to, that his word, you know, it means a lot, and he lets his play do the talking. So I think that, you know, my versatility and my leadership skills, I think that you know, I fit right into that as a player and as a person. Rock is atmosphere at Tiger Stadium. The stadium starting to shake. The Tigers take the field. There's no place like Saturday night in no Death place. Valley. There's Nothing not. We, we're both on the record as saying that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we've been fortunate to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. What's it like as somebody who's pulling those colors over your head and hitting that wind bar mm -hmm. and running out there? It's, it's madness. Tiger walk packed on either side. The student section right to your right when you run in the stadium. We warm up, we run straight to the student section and hype them up. Saturday night in the Valley is always packed, man. 100,000 deep, it's crazy. For people who haven't, man, y'all gotta go. It's, it's, it's experience. How do you hear? You don't. <laughs> you don't, yeah, you don't. I play on defense, so I play on defense, so I don't. You know, they, they quiet down for the offense a little bit, give some, give some hearing, but defense third down, you can't hear. It's crazy. I remember, you know, the Alabama game, that first drive, man, it was, it was, it was sick sand. and none. People say I hit too late. I couldn't hear the whistle. What's your song? When it's time for Bama, when it's time for Georgia, when it's time yeah. for, what, what, what are you listening to? I'm not a country guy. I see this country. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm right. not a big country guy. That's all right. But hey, I like country music though, so I don't have anything against it. Calling Baton Rouge by uh, Garth Brooks, yeah. baby. Hey, 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 that <laughs> hyped me up every day, every time. I, I would never thought that a country song like that would hype me up like that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> they more to go out there and make some plays. That song is in my playlist now. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know the words to the song. The best sound of football. This is the LSU Tigers going to war. What is it like at halftime when y'all aren't playing quite up to your ability and Coach O is really not happy with <laughs> you? How's that go? It don't go too good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't too pretty. A lot of yelling and red face from Coach O's side, but you, know, you got to get honest, man. If we want to be one of the best teams in the country, we got to go out there and perform like it. We can't make a lot of mistakes. We got to do everything we can to prevent those mistakes, man. So it's not, it's not too pretty. How many words in that? in that address, <laughs> do y'all actually pick up? Do I comprehend? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe like one out of four. 25% is <laughs> pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's enough to get your point across. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.